The last time I drove this, I had that Reese Micro 99 servo winch in it. It's currently out because I did the winch pull test, which was phenomenal. Over 20 pounds of pull at 6 volts. Amazing for such a small winch. However, I broke my truck doing some kind of crazy dance and stuff with it. Got with A-Main, got some SSD brass knuckles to go on this. We're going to install these and take it out for a drive. Take a look. The SSD goodies. Let's open these up. Here they are right here. Oh, you can see my ceiling fan up in there. Nice. These things are flat. Beautiful. It's like a polished black chrome. That's nice, guys. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a shame they're kind of going to be hidden up into there. They come with everything you need as far as the bolts, the knuckle bushings right here, and new larger outer bearings. That's always a good thing. I got the bearings in place. One thing about these, everything is a tight fit. So everything is uh, really snug, which actually should make for a nice, nicer fit and finish. As far as the uh, ends right there, I did have to run this through here, just like <laughs> just like that just to kind of open them up just a little bit to get these in so the bearings you also had to tap them in so everything is good and tight that's for sure i do want to mention this is going on the ifs if you're putting these on the solid axle then those little bushings that they send go right in so the fitment is perfect with those just i had to open them up a little bit for these i gotta admit it looks wonderful Everything went in good, nice and tight, you know? So I'll go ahead and get the other side done. I'll put the brace back on because I had to take the winch out for that little winch test. So anyways, this thing should be ready to roll here in just a few seconds. And there we are. Oh yeah, those won't break again. I might break the uh, end links, the link ends, but uh, that won't break again. And the servo winch is off because I have another plan for that. But for right now, this thing is ready to power up and get outside. So the goal here is to drive this. Obviously, these knuckles are not going to break. But to try to see if I can see that the added weight is a benefit. So Now this is a class 1 with all that IFS stuff as you guys just saw. This is not a good spot for it. But... We may as well give it a try, right? See what we can do. Good run. Now, that was quite leany right there, and it, it stayed, so maybe. Now, I know they got the uh, that gatekeeper out there, but heck, I just can't see a need for that, even though it has a solid front axle, which you can put on this one, by the way. But it's got, I believe, the same style rear suspension that originally came out from RC Off-Road Extreme 4x4. I'll have to get that in the description for you guys. Ooh. I am really coming up bad right there. Oh, wow. So the bumper caught me right there, and then the axle was up against it. So I was pretty well hung up, but luckily I was able to get out. I mean, for class one, I think it's doing pretty good. Haha, <laughs> see, now it's hung on the uh, front suspension all that drop down that they have on this thing now we're going to go ahead and try it i don't know that this has ever made it across the nasty but there's always the first time right and here we go i can try to stay wow <laughs> it's like it's got 
maybe half an inch of clearance up front. Granted, let's talk about clearance. These are only 3.8 inch tall tires. So they aren't even the full, you know, 4.19 that most class ones would actually be competing with. So not only does it have a low clearance IFS front end on it, it also has undersized tires, uh, bumpers that like to catch stuff. And a nice little bit of pep right there. Now, the crack of doom, more than likely this is gonna eat this thing's lunch. If I can get a tire onto that, I don't know, we'll have to see. I think that bumper is just going to tear me right up. Oh yeah, look at that. Trying to get that tire to get a grip. Maybe a little bit more of an angle. Okay, okay. I'm up on it here, but now I've got all that IFS stuff is really not helping me out much at all okay looks like i may have got the ifs over now it's on the arm oh. well it done it done pretty good I, I think let's go ahead and try it from a different angle we'll try it from down low and see what we can do a lot of times this is a much easier line to get up it because the back end is, oh, that is not going to work out for me. And now I'm hung up on the bumper. All right, we're dropped into the crack. So that got it up. Granted, we're not done yet. Woo! <laughs> there we go. There we go. I think <laughs> that IFS is really catching me right now. Okay, so with all the things that hangs this little truck up, the back bumper is like a dragging hook. The IFS has got minimal clearance. Big front bumper hanging off. I think it did good on the nasty. I really do. I think it did just fine. Now we're going to try to throttle it. Ha ha ha. Beautiful. Now a climb time, this is one that you really have to have a good forward bias on to get. I don't know that the brass did that much, but we don't know. We will in just a second. If I can get the tire to get a hook. I don't believe it is. Nope, don't quite have the wheelbase to get that up there it doesn't mean we're done if I can get it out onto the face okay I'm on the face of it Ow! smack that is not doable at least not today one last climb just because ridge line. <laughs> Let's climb over here. See if we can get a good look at what's going on. All right, 
right, we're gonna try to take the easy way up now. Now we're getting to the middle, which gets all torque twisty. There we go. Ow. And let's give this thing a good old fashioned jump test here. Ha <laughs> ha Oh my God, <laughs> really? Wow, what a fail. <laughs> the knuckles from SSD, beautiful pieces. Shiny, smooth. Um, heck, I don't know if they were even machined or just machined that good because they were like a polished finish. Kind of like what I said, like a black chrome. Kind of like some of the Traxxas plastic wheels, you know, it's just like a flawless, flawless surface, really. So. Whether they helped or not, well, I know they're not going to break. So, good to go on that. But, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit. They may have helped keep it down, but it was very marginal. I have a feeling that if you were to use those along with a few other little bits and pieces and some better tuning than what I've done on this, I think it would make a bigger difference on that, on that kind of a vehicle at a higher level if that makes any sense at all, because they do add a pretty good bit of weight, but it is what it is. So in that description are links for these pieces through A-Main. And A-Main is an affiliate link, eBay, Amazon, and Red Cat as well. They are affiliate links. Use those links to check out. Uh, those links below, they help out the channel. It's a bit of a commission, so it helps keep me up to date and also helps me repair my vehicles when I break them. I've been breaking more than usual lately. But anyway, guys, uh, check that description, hit those links, make sure you're subscribed, and thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos, and you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.